Today we'll be solving absolute value equations. We have two examples over there and we will be looking at one in this video and one in another video. So we're looking at number one. Three is equal to the absolute value of 2x plus 1 minus 6. Now what we're about to do is just to get the absolute value on one side of the equation so we're going to removing we, we will be removing that constant negative six so we'll add six to both sides so we have a nine which is equal to the absolute value of 2x plus one now what this is saying is that the absolute value which is the distance from zero is equal to nine whatever we have inside that absolute value um, symbol notation there is saying that it is equal to 9 so let's go to our number line quickly to see what does absolute value really deals with absolute value deals with the distance of of the number from 0 so basically we are looking at how far is this from 0 so it's 9 so because it's 9 units now we're going to realize that we're going to have two cases because if we look to the negative side of zero we could also get nine units because units are neither or not negative so units is just how far so we're saying we could get two cases here one with a negative nine and one with a nine so that's my second case which is case two now let's let's solve case one in case 1, we have 9, which is equal to the absolute value of 2x plus 1. At this time, when we're ready to solve this, we could remove the absolute value sign because we intend to find what value of x could this be. Well, we'll subtract 1 from both sides. So 8 is equal to 2x. Dividing both sides by 2, 4 is equal to x. So that's one of our solutions. So... We're going to be checking them at the end of the video. So x is equal to 4 is one of my solution. Alright, let us um, focus on the next case. Alright, so we will be looking at case number 2. In case number 2, we are looking at the fact that that absolute value that we have there, the equation on the inside, well, not necessarily the equation, the expression that we have on the inside should equal to negative 9 because the absolute value of negative 9 is still 9. So negative 9 is equal to 2x plus 1, and we'll solve this normally. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides. Yeah, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So we're seeing where negative 10 is equal to 2x. Dividing both sides by 2, negative 5 is equal to x. And that is our second solution. So one of our solutions is x equal 4, and the next one is x equal to negative 5. All right. All right, what we intend to do now is just to verify, just to check our answers to see if those two responses would produce the correct answer. So I'm going to plug that back in my original equation there. So we're going to be substituting 4 for x in the first case and then negative 5 for x. So we're checking our solution. So let's go. Now, 3 is equal to the absolute value of 2x, 2x plus 1. But at the same time, we're going to be substituting 4 where x is. So, there you go. All right, so we'll still carry that 6. Um, we'll add 6 to both sides just to get the absolute value by itself. So, 9 is equal to 2, 4 is 8 plus 1. So you could see that the absolute value of 9 is 9. So um, if x is equal to 4, that is a good solution for this case. 
Let's look at the second situation. We're going to be checking negative 5. So 3 is equal to the absolute value of 2x plus 1 minus 6. But remember, now we're going to substitute negative 5 for x. So we're going to put it right there. Yeah, and then we try to get the absolute value by itself. So we have 3 is equal to 2 times negative 5 plus 1, which is negative 10 plus 1 in there. So we're going to get the 6 away from that side by adding 6 to both sides. So 9 is equal to the absolute value of negative 9. So you could see the absolute value of negative 9 is 9. So both solutions worked. Okay, thank you very much for watching.